today we're going to be doing a review and unboxing of the RC Fun Kid Stunt Car. Let me turn it on, see if I can get it to do some stunts. Pretty cool. Basically, you can't really get this thing stuck. If it runs into a wall or something, it will flip over. So I hope y'all enjoy this video and I just want to thank RC Fun Kid for reaching out to me and asked me would I do a review of their little stunt car. I think this is a good time of year for me to do a review since it's close to uh, Christmas. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. Now we're going to unbox the stunt car. Uh, this is recommended for ages 8 and up. I just want to thank uh, RC Fun Kid for reaching out to me and asking me would I review their product. Really means a lot to me, especially this time of year. If you got a kid and you want to get them something that's not going to tear up furniture or spend a lot of money on, comes with the instructions here. It tells uh, basically everything you need to know about how to uh, turn the switches and uh, open the battery cover. Cause a crosshead screwdriver. I guess that would be a Phillips screwdriver, and it tells how to insert the batteries. Um, and how to use it but uh, let's see here's the controller this is not an expensive RC as you can tell but it would be like I said earlier something good for a kid it runs on 2.4 gigahertz take that screw out there put the battery in here's the, oh this is gonna be fun here's the RC car it feels like some smooth tires Flipping tires. It comes with uh, comes with the batter, some batteries. I'm thinking the double A's will actually uh, go into the remote. Yeah, and it comes with a little bitty screwdriver, I guess, to open up that battery compartment on the back of the uh, remote here. Yeah, that's what it's for, just to open it up. And uh. There's also a screw there to open up the battery compartment on the back too. There's also a clamp there, so once you get, take that screw out, you know, if, if you feel comfortable that your kid is not gonna eat a LiPo battery, I think you could probably just leave it out. Oh, it comes with two batteries. There's one already in it, sweet. So it comes with two batteries, two batteries. USB charger and looks like you get a good little deal here. Okay, I'm just using my living room floor as a backdrop for this video. So let's see what this thing can do. Oh, we got it turned off. Let's turn it on. So it works kind of like a tank would work. <laughs> kind of getting the hang of it a little bit. basically just forward and back. I don't have no side to side. It's basically just, as you can see here, forward, forward and back, no side to side. As you can see, it's pretty easy to operate. You just push push these two buttons forward to make it to go forward, and these two buttons back. And if you just want one side to work, kind of like a tank, tracks on the tank, you just do that right there, and it just spin around in circles. Or you can use the other one and go the other way. 
Now I see how this could be pretty fun for a, for a kid. Now this is a toy grade RC. I wanna see if I can get something out here for it to run over to see the flipping action because it will flip over these uh, these tracks actually run are loose are loose as you can see here so if it was to you know it could run up on something and flip over uh, I don't know if I have anything here that I could do that with maybe we could go for that door over there oh got it upside down it's not real variable it's got a lot of uh there you go so you don't have to worry about it getting stuck anywhere because it's not for it to get hung on pretty much it for this video uh, I say this is a pretty good toy grade RC so if you got a kid and you want something for them just to play with like I said the controls is not real variable it's either a hundred percent it's probably 50 then a hundred percent don't have a lot of you know like you'd expect on a hobby grade RC but for the price of this thing, you really can't beat it. See, it's awesome. I wouldn't buy this for myself, but if I had like an eight year old or something like that, I just wanted something to play with, it'd probably be all right. I mean, it comes with everything you need. Well, at this price point and my first uh, impressions, I'd say uh, I'd say it's worth what you pay for it. And I give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching this video.